Okay, <clears throat> the way to identify your 410 um, as opposed to the 400 is that the 410 has this base metal plate on it um, and the 400 only has, it's like a gun metal grey base plate and the motherboard or the the little logic board is exposed so if you've got a fat model uh, console and you want to uh, sort of work out which which lens you need to buy which drive you have the 410 is this base plate the 400 doesn't okay so first of all how to get this thing open there are one two three four five screws three along the front two at the back the ones at the front are these little black little black screws like that there's three of those and then on the back we just have two little silver screws and what we're doing here is just uh, releasing the top cover from the bottom cover basically so we just remove those screws and just in case this is the first video you've uh, you've watched I always use this little magnetic screwdriver with the changing heads so it's a little kit that I bought and uh, it just helps you an awful lot if the, if the screwdriver is magnetic okay let's flip it over um, just peel that bit back a little bit and give it a bit of a wiggle and a shake and that bit comes off and we set it to one side. Now we remove the bottom and there's the bottom of it with the logic board and uh, that's the lens, data ribbons etc. Now to get into it there are only three screws on the 410 whereas there are four or five on the uh, 400 version and the three screws right oh and then there are two clips one there and one there and you just uh, pull those clips and off it comes okay so this is the lens it's a twin lens as opposed to the 400 which has a single lens <laughs> okay to replace the lens you first need to remove it and the easiest way I find to remove these lenses is there's a little spring here at the back that holds the um, that little spring there holds this sliding arm or reel down so if we remove the little black screw that holds that And this can be lifted up and slid out as easy as that which then gives you access to the lens and there it is now when you get your new lens just look at the difference it's the old lens this is the new lens the new lens doesn't come with that little um, little block there that attaches the lens to the drive motor so you need to salvage that and swap it over and it's attached simply with a little black screw on the bottom side so undo that and then with the magnetic screwdriver you can actually put this tiny screw on the end of the screwdriver and it'll stay there so then you just pop it into the hole <laughs> obviously it's a good idea to try and protect the lens there guys so um, be gentle with it uh, I'm trying to do it quickly that's why I'm not taking the normal precautions so now that that's done you can just pop it back under that reel slide this back in and drop it down and there's a little hole there I'll show you up close there's a hole there and a little clip that it has to go under so what I do is 
push it down at the front, it will pop up at the back. Lift the spring so it goes underneath it. Okay, and then lift it up. Oh, didn't work that time. And push it forward and then pop that into place. Make sure it's running freely. Reattach the data ribbon. Um, because I'm working upside down here, guys, it can be quite tricky. That's that. So once your lens is in, then all it remains to do is put the um, the rear spring back on, like so. And these are quite fiddly, these things, but uh, that's the spring back in. So that's everything sorted. Put the lid back on, and. If you know what you're up to at this stage, you can crack on. But um, I'd advise you just to keep watching because there are a few wee tricky points to putting the case back together. The first thing to do <clears throat> before you put the uh, case back on is remember to put this in because often I've put them back together again and then they haven't worked simply because... I forgot to put this magnetic disc back in place. And what happens sometimes with them, because they're magnetic, they get stuck to things and you forget about them. You know, you set them somewhere and they get stuck to a spanner or something like that. Just make sure it's there before you put it back in. And hold it with your thumb anytime you turn it upside down. There's a little hole at the back so you can align it properly, but there are two tabs on the um, base plate hopefully you can see those two tabs there which need to hook over the plastic rim if you don't do that the thing isn't going to go on properly so put it in from the back make sure that those two tabs are over and they lay it down nicely and then flip it back over do you see what I mean and now drop the back down And there are two tabs on this, which have to go down over this. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I'll show you now. You see the way that's been put back together? With that tab going behind the plastic, and, and then these two going behind that silver thing there. Okay. And then we we'll drop it down in. And that's her. And just put your three screws back in. And that is it.